Yes, they're well, obviously doing something right, and just because the hardcore gamer well, doesn't like it, doesn't mean they're not doing something right. Well, first right. of all, looking at hardware sales and saying that somebody's doing all right is like not necessarily an Four apt way to measure. Every everything. household whole owns a Wii. Yeah, but I mean. That's freaking huge. But like Nintendo might be taking a loss on all those units sold and trying to make that money back third party or first party titles. Nintendo's like, never been about third party. It's always been about first party. Well, I just corrected myself and said first party oh, titles. Goodness. Yeah. I don't think you understand what Nintendo is trying to do. Nintendo's not trying to compete with Microsoft or Sony. I know, they're just trying to sell crap to soccer moms. No. That's like no. what I get Nintendo that. I understand to, that. Is trying to reach out to a different market and they're also making games soccer that are moms. more they're making games that are more centered around group gaming. Soccer moms. No. That has nothing to do with it. No, I think you just are judging Nintendo on something that you honestly don't know much about. Oh. You don't even have one. When was the last Nintendo system you had? The last Nintendo I had a GameCube oh, and I have talk. I have the DS I have the DS systems. I don't have a 3DS yet. Uh, but I have played plenty of Wii U and uh, the games that I you really really played plenty of Wii U at E3 for how many hours? Well, not the oh, not the Wii U. The pl I played plenty of Wii. I played plenty of Wii and like the games that were great for it are few and far between and they're usually just like the new Zelda or the new Mario game. So I'm just saying, That's like, all I need it for. I don't know. Uh, you know, one title I was really excited for for the Wii U was uh, Zombie U. That game looks really awesome. Uh, so you know, maybe maybe the Wii U will prove me wrong. But I just wasn't like I wasn't wowed by it. I was just kind of like, ah, eh. I really expected Nintendo to really come full force with it more, and I really don't think they brought it. That's you're saying all. You were disappointed because Nintendo didn't come full force with a new system, but you're not disappointed by Sony and Microsoft not showing us anything new. At least Nintendo had new stuff to show. I, I liked I liked a lot of the games I saw from those two companies. I mean, but I like. They didn't show us new things. They didn't have a new console. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping that for a new a Xbox. That should be a bigger disappointment than at least you no showing us new stuff. That's a relief to me, honestly. Like, I don't want to have to buy a new console. I, I would rather have, have my stuff last. I don't want to buy a new console last. either, but I think it's time that we at least get a new Xbox. I feel like the Xbox is run its course. I think I think the Xbox still has another couple years left in it. Uh, especially they keep like bringing out all this new fan, fancy fang dangled stuff that you can do with them. Like, like connect? Well, not like connect. I mean, like they just had, they just got all these like HBO go stuff and like all of the like little video networks that you can but that's watch. But turning my 360 into more of a cable box than an actual well, game Well, that's, console. that's what they're trying to do. They're definitely trying to do that. So, I mean. I don't ever watch They want it to be a multi-purpose entertainment. My PC is a game console. Anywho, Wii U, disappointing to me at least. But you know what wasn't disappointing to either of us, Rachel?